lab. A Twilight Council is being warped in somewhere. There it is. So Huck is opening up a couple more tech options. He might be able to go for Dark Templar or High Templar or Blink or, you know, everything else there is. Zealot Charge. <laughs> That's pretty much it. But um, it will certainly help with these Forge upgrades as well since you need a Twilight Council to be able to get to level 2. So it looks like Pain User did have a Marine just hanging out there at that Zelnaga Watchtower. Huck spots it and chases him away, actually kills him off. He ran back. A couple of Banshees moving in now for Pain User. Going to try and do a little bit more harassment on these probes. Huck, quick to respond, very quick to respond. Warps in a Stalker, but it is going to die in one more hit. This pylon may go down or may not, as lots of Stalkers show up in plenty of time to chase them away. What is going on here in the middle? Pain user looked like he was trying to do a two-pronged attack, sending in those two Banshees in the back and the rest of his army up at the front, but Huck was not fooled. He did not pull any more forces than he needed to, just sent a few Stalkers up there to block those Banshees, and he was done with that. So an Immortal and more and more Observers coming out all the time. His main is looking pretty grim here. He doesn't have that many, uh, un, you know, he doesn't have that many full crystals left, let's say that. Minerals, crystals, whatever. Pylon's coming in, a third base coming in for Huck. It looks like Pain User tried to peek his little nose in there. Huck sending his injured Colossus first. Of course, it's going to die extremely quickly to those siege tanks, but all these Immortals are going to be able to blast away at these tanks very easily. The only problem is now there, there's five Banshees shooting uncontested here against these Immortals, and a point defense drone did go down from that Raven, so... Huck has to pull all the way back here before he can start shooting down these Banshees. He needs to get these Immortals out of here or they're going to die very fast to those five Banshees. Uh, point Defense Drone still with plenty of energy, so he's going to have to go ahead and shoot that down quickly. Sap its energy. Okay, now it's useless. And it's dead. <laughs> More Stalkers being warped in all the time. Um, what is he going to get out of these robotics facilities? Looks like Colossi still. His Nexus over here is fully saturated already. He dragged tons and tons of workers from the main. He's getting up both gases now. Pain User does have his command center finished as well. Not quite. St he hasn't quite started mining from it yet. Looks like he is transferring lots and lots of SCVs right now and throwing up two more gas of his own. Uh, what is going on here? Protoss Shields level 1. Anyway, Huck is here. He has arrived with lots of Stalkers, a handful of Zealots, and a couple of Colossi. This actually could be a very, very good force here. However, Pain User has so many tanks sieged up that he is able to chase away the um, small remaining force that Huck has left. It's hard, it's hard to bash right into that tank line like that. And, oh, this is actually a Planetary Fortress, not an Orbital Command, so Pain User is going to be protecting his third base quite a bit more than Huck is going to be able to. Uh, he has not dropped any cannons yet. Wouldn't be surprised to see him drop one or two uh, relatively soon. But keep an eye on the production tab. More Immortals, more Stalkers versus another Barracks. Marauders coming in all the time to help take out these Tier 1 units. Uh, Metavax being made now out of that second Starport. He did not get... Wow, he didn't get a reactor like I guessed. He got another tech lab up there. So he's cranking Banshees, Ravens, Medivacs. No Vikings yet still to combat the um, Colossi of Huck. I guess he feels he doesn't actually need it that badly right now with the uh, Banshees doing so much damage against both Stalkers and Colossi. The Vikings really kind of aren't necessary. So uh, tech lab coming in for this barracks as well. That'll put him up to six operating barracks, only one of those with the reactor. He has two operating factories and two operating starports. It looks like Pain User is starting to move a little bit down here at the bottom. Huck has a good concave actually set up here. Um, did he get Zealot charged? Yes, he did. He does not have Blink yet, but these Colossi engage from afar. Of course, there are still five Banshees here shooting away at these Stalkers. The Stalkers I'm not sure if there's enough of them to be able to kill off these Banshees, especially with this tank line being so close. And the tank line does unsiege. Is he going to start moving forward or is he going to retreat? Looks like he is going to continue this crawl across the bottom of the map. Probes being pulled for Huck, attacking the tank line. Colossi trying to sweep through this tank line as fast as possible while the probes soak the shots. There are still two Banshees left. No cloak available, though. It uh, looks like he didn't even research it because observers are all over the place. This Planetary Fortress could actually go down pretty quick to a couple of Immortals and Colossi, but look at all these SCVs being pulled to repair and all these um, small, amount, small amount of forces here able to defend. A few Marauders and a few tanks still alive, able to shoot away at these Colossi. The Colossi still... Just nuking through the tier 1 units, um, this planetary fortress is back to full. Three Colossi against a few marines though, that's going to go in favor of the Colossi every time. 1-1-1 one, one, one upgrades there for uh, Huck, and only 0-1 oh, upgrades for the Marauders and Marines of Pain User. So this tank line advances even further. These Colossi actually, with their amazing range, aren't even going to be hit by the planetary fortress. Uh, he might 
be able to do a couple of laser swipes on those SCVs, but no, it looks like he is just going to back off when this Banshee shows up. He has more Stalkers in and more Zealots warping in all the time to help support these Colossi. And I'm not sure what... Um, not sure what kind of advantage he has right now. The food advantage is very obvious, 137 to 92. And if we look at workers, Huck has 74 probes to 49 SCVs. The more and more we look at this, it looks like Huck is gaining an increasing advantage in both army size and econo um, economic size, economy size. And what else is going on? K-Darren Amulet, I saw Psy Storm was already researching ground weapons level 2. Huck is taking this time to expand again at the gold expansion. The high yield minerals dropping two gas right away. It looks like Pain User is going to find that relatively quickly. Um, these probes could actually kill off this single marine pretty easily. So maybe they'll defend it or maybe he'll just run his marine away. We'll see. He does stim his single marine so that it's going to die even faster to those particle beams. Uh, no, he is going to be able to get away with that increased speed from the stim pack. One probe does follow him anyway, just to see what's at this front line. It looks like a handful of Marines and Marauders. This tank line is down to only two tanks. There are no Banshees, no, a single Banshee and a single Raven. Here come two more Banshees from those tech labbed starports. Huck has been cranking out units this whole time, though. He's at 171 food to 133 food, keeping that food advantage intact. He's up to how many gateways? Seven gateways and two robotics facility full-time, cranking out Immortals. I like to see that. Pain user, on the other hand, if we look at his production, Marauders, Banshees, Tanks, and Marines, an Armory is finally coming up, and another Command Center. I'm not sure where that Command Center is going to be going, or even where it is being built. Oh, he might be taking the island here soon. Yeah, there it is. He loads it up with five SCVs and heads to the island. So each base, I mean, each player going to be working off of multiple bases here. This one's still mining, but it's nearly mined out. Pain users might be mined out from mules. No, it's got just a few minerals remaining. So this is actually a very uh, necessary move to try and take this or this base way over here on the left side of the map so that Huck is uh, less able to access it and attack it with these long, long range colossi. And there are a lot of High Templar that I just selected, but I don't even see them. There are, wow, there are eight High Templar underneath those Colossi just hanging out there in the back. So if uh, Huck's intention was to hide them from me, he did very good. Anyway, Pain User moving now with his Bioforce. He stems up and chases down this uh, little tiny contingent here of uh, a few Marauders and a few Zealots. Or actually a few Stalkers and a few Zealots. Sorry. And... Huck still has a lot of units just kind of hanging out here at the top part of the bottom part of the map. An Archon morphs in, a couple of storms go down on these bio units, a uh, good switch by Huck to get a couple of storms in there to supplement his Colossi. Actually a lot of forces now for Huck. Look at them push this Archon around. Man, they get a, he got a lot of movement out of that. But uh, anyway, now both forces attacking from both sides. Pain user's army is about uh, 60 less than Huck, so if Huck is able to take care of these Banshees without too much problem, I think he will be able to win this fight. And the Colossi actually go down pretty fast. Two of them die pretty quickly, but that Planetary Fortress does just get mowed down by the Immortals. And these Banshees are still alive, like I said. I think I thought they were going to be the last ones alive anyway, but there are just so many Immortals and this remaining Colossus with 12 kills. They're going to be able to push right through the front here. Pain user working off of only part of one base and trying to get this island expansion up and running. Does not have enough economy to keep up. And so Huck took an advantage um, around the late mid game and just kept pressing it, making tons and tons of Immortals, lots of gateway units, mineral dump with the Zealots, things like that. Um, about halfway through the halfway through the match, I really would not have been able to guess who would win the the game um, just because both players had such strong economies and such strong army sizes, but a couple of positioning differences and some good movements by Huck to keep his Colossi alive and his Immortals alive toward the middle of the game where he kind of just poked at this planetary fortress and came back. That gave him enough time to get this gold expansion up and really, really push ahead of Pain User in the economy and the unit game. So, Good game to both players. Excellent job by Huck to win the game. And I want to remind you all one more time to please, please, please leave me some lovely comments on my job application for iWearYourShirt.com. It's in the video description. If I get this job, I will make lots of StarCraft II videos. Even if you don't like them, I'll make them. I'll just make a bunch. That's how, that's how much it means to me. So um, please help me out, and I'll help you out with more StarCraft to watch. Hooray! Goodbye.